In an op-ed for The Telegraph, Colonel Hamish de Breton Gordon, a former British Army officer and a chemical weapons expert, argues that Ukraine's incursion into Russian territory has exposed Vladimir Putin's nuclear threats as a bluff. Ukraine's incursion into Russia's Kursk Oblast started on the 6th of August and the Ukrainian forces have been broadening their bridgehead for over a week, with Ukraine's commander-in-chief Alexander Sirsky earlier claiming over 1,000 square kilometers of territory inside Russia had been seized. Despite Putin's previous warnings of unimaginably catastrophic consequences for interference with Russia's special military operation, i.e. the ongoing invasion of Ukraine, there has been no nuclear retaliation from Moscow in response to Ukraine's incursion into Kursk Oblast, the Breton Gordon notes. President Putin's red lines mean nothing, and it is time our leaders in this country and across the West realize this, he says. The Breton Gordon notes that the US has promised severe consequences if Russia were to use nuclear weapons and that China would not condone such actions. Meanwhile, Putin has done nothing since the Ukrainians made their move. That has to be at least in part because he doesn't have any nuclear option which would magically solve his current problem. It would hardly help him to drop a nuke on Russian territory after all. The author argues that this incursion has left Moscow struggling to respond effectively with non-nuclear means without weakening its positions elsewhere in Ukraine. The US, the UK and France continue to restrict Ukraine from using the long-range missiles they supply against targets deep within Russia. The Breton Gordon argues the West to remove such restrictions. It must be made clear, even to the most timid leaders in Europe, that the nuclear option is not actually available to Putin. The West both can and should remove the shackles it has put on Ukraine and allow that bold nation to fight with its hands free, using its Western weaponry to its full range and capability. Hamish de Breton Gordon wrote, A fire broke out in the forest in the Karatip area of Yamanlar Mountain in the Karsiyaka district of Izmir for an unknown reason. Noticing the smoke, people in the area reported the situation to the 112 Emergency Call Center. Fifteen water trucks, five water supply vehicles, two dozers and three ground crews belonging to the Izmir Forestry Regional Directorate were dispatched to the region upon the notification. While extinguishing efforts were difficult due to winds reaching speeds of up to 60 km per hour, two planes, one helicopter, four water trucks and one water supply vehicle were sent to the region as reinforcements. Extinguishing efforts continue from the air and land. Smoke covered many areas of Izmir city. It is noted that the fight against the flames continues in four cities of Turkey. Forest fires in Izmir, Bolu and Manisa are being fought from the air and land. The fire in the Esiabat district of Kanakale has been brought under control. In the fire that broke out in the Goynuk district of Bolu, more than 100 hectares of land has been damaged so far. The fire that started in the Gourds district of Manisa is entering its third day and has been partially brought under control. But as noticed, the fire that broke out in the Karsiyaka district of Izmir grew due to the effect of strong winds. While numerous teams and vehicles were fighting the fire, an animal shelter was evacuated. Izmir Governor Suleiman Elban stated that the fire was continuing in four to five regions and that a village was evacuated. In a statement made by Karsiyaka municipality, it was reported that the fire spread to the Barakli and Sigli districts. Minister of Agriculture and Forestry Ibrahim Umakli announced that the General Directorate of Meteorology warned that low humidity, strong winds, and high temperatures would increase the risk of forest fires for three days. Umakli added that the Esiabat fire broke out as a result of an electric pole on the side of the road exploding. Gel böyle ya. Gel bilader. <gülüyor>